topic is titled We Have Them. From the scheme of work which we have, it is divided into two. We have We Have A and We Have B. Now we've been able to treat on We Have A where we were able to discuss about the, the processes. And processes includes the recitation, the narration, the time, and, and the repetition. Now we also have what we call the types of rehearsal, which we mentioned in our last class, which are the maintenance rehearsal and the elaborative rehearsal. Now I will break it down. Already we already know the definition of rehearsal. But despite that, I will give a brief definition on this very topic titled above. Rehearsal is a continuous practice by the actors and actresses before the audience. Now, we also have what we call the activities involved in rehearsal. Now, what, the, what are the activities? The activities are these. Number one is reading. Number two is movement. Number three is acting. And number four is expression. Now, what is reading? The essence of this is to get adequate acquainted with the words until they can say the words from the memory. What am I trying to say? This is the essence of getting acquainted with what we have in the script. Then, number two, Say it's movement. This is the time to begin getting rid of initial shyness by the actors and actresses. What am I trying to say? The, the getting rid of the shyness which the actors and actresses may feel towards each other, particularly those of them who are required to hold each other in an intimate manner, as in the case of husband and wife. Number three, acting. This is the time when the drama director may need to yield. What do I mean by the word yield? To shout. Yielding means shouting. This is when the director tries, tries to correct both the actors and the actresses and also the, 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 the video man or the video person. He tries to correct them in order to get into the spirit of acting. Now, number four, we have what we call expression. This talks about the actors and actresses' communication skills and style. In this case, they need to perfect the most appropriate voice modulation. Now, what do you mean by the word modulation? The word modulation. The word modulation simply means to control one to regulate two, three, the strength tone of your voice. The strength and the tone of your voice. Now, as earlier said, we've made mention about the processes of rehearsal. We also made mention about the definition of rehearsal. We also made mention of the activities involved in rehearsal, which are the reading, movement, acting, and expression. Now, the last stage is this, which are the stages of rehearsal. Now, what are the stages of rehearsal? Number one is reading, number two is blocking, number three is polishing, and number four is dress and technical. Now, number one, reading is in line with what we have in this, being the activities involved in rehearsal. They are, however, interlinked with each other. If you can be able to, be, to, to give a brief definition on this, definitely you can as well give a brief definition on this. Now, number two says, blocking. It is the stage at which the actors and actresses begin to attempt matching the words they are reading with appropriate action. Now, let me explain this. In a situation whereby an actor has been instructed to behave like a madman. Now, you see a madman yelling, shouting, trying to pick death from the ground. The same way he's, he, he, he is demonstrating, the same way he is talking, please give me this, please. Help. You know what I mean by that? Now, that is the blocking. 
you, you, you move ahead or you try to express with action of what you are saying. Now, number three says the polishing. The polishing, this is the stage of the actors and actresses who are meant to act in a given drama have gained an above average mastery of the words and actions and are near, nearly perfection. What I'm trying to say here, they are they have gained an average mastery of what they have been asked to do or to carry out the drama which they've been instructed to do. Now the last one on the list, which is dress and technical. At this stage, costumes, makeup, the set light effects, the music and sounds are all employed just as they would be used during the actual presentation of the drama. This stage marks the final rehearsal before the play is ready to go public. Now in this case, we have what we call the costumes. And what are these things that make up the costumes? We have the clothes, we have the mask, we have the shoes, we have the socks, we have the cap. And what are those materials that make up the costumes? The eyelashes, the eye pencil, powder and the rest of them. Then the set lights, effects. The set light effects comes directly from the video man. Then we also have what we call the music and sound. They are all in this dress and technical. Under this dress and technical. So, before I leave the class, this stands as the, this marks the last or the final rehearsal before the play is ready to go public. Thank you.